What's up everybody, uh, Dean Ellis again from Dietec uh, and I'm continuing on with the article options uh, tabs on Joomla 3. Okay, and what we're going to cover off on this tutorial hopefully is two tabs. One is the blog featured layouts and the second one is the list layouts. So getting stuck right into it um, is the blog featured layouts. Now this uh, is affected um, in two areas. Okay, so our blog featured layouts uh, you can you can change and uh, manage here. Uh, you can also manage the layouts um, in the menus area. Okay, we're in our menu manager here, as you can see, and we can affect our blog layouts in this area here. So it's the same same field, same information. The menus um, item, uh, if you set this up, it overrides the global attributes that overrides this one. All right. So where this happens is, if you look at the uh, the articles here, we have one leading article. Now, if we go into our uh, front end and I'll load the category blog, you'll see we have one leading article, which is that one there. We then have four intro articles. All right, and we have them listed in two columns. All right, as we scroll down, you see one, two, three. All right, and we don't have a fourth a fourth article in that category. Okay, the number of links would be located down underneath the intro articles, right? And that is limited to, according to the settings, four links only. Now, the multi-column order um, drop-down gives you an, op an option of, of ordering your articles down or across. So at the moment it's down, so I'm just making a quick note. Let's go back to category blog. Just make a note that you see the Morris article here, and then you see the Curabitor uh, article here. All right, so Morris and Curabitor, one down from the other. Now, when I change that to a cross and save it, you'll now notice that the Morris and the Curabitor is across from itself instead of going down. So now what it is is ordering articles across the columns rather than down the columns. All right, and that's how that setting works. Now the last field in this uh, page um, allows us to include subcategory articles into that one category blog. So if we have, um, at the moment we have it set to, if we have it set to none and save, only the articles in the setup category, or the category that's been determined for this link, will be listed in the uh, page, in the category blog link. However, if we set this to um, five, and save. You'll notice now that there are more cat more articles under the setup category. So we haven't changed it. The setup category is still there, and there are now four articles there. Plus, there's four links. Okay, so there's all the articles down five levels uh, of the setup category. So anything any category under the setup category is also displaying their articles in this same section. Okay, and because there's so many, we're now got, we now have pagination. Okay, so we can adjust this, uh, the number of intro articles. So let's bump that up to six and put it in three columns and have ten links. So now what you find is we have one introduction article. We now have three columns and we have one, two, three, four, five, six intro articles and we have ten links. Now there's only three more articles left we don't have enough to cover the 10 articles. Okay, so that's how that's how the, uh, the category blog sections work. Okay, I usually just leave that set to none. Um, if I want to show articles in a category, I'll use the, the menus, the links in the menus to display it. Okay, and that's the blog and featured layouts. Uh, just a point to note, the featured layouts uh, also includes uh, the layout numbers in your homepage, okay, in here. Now notice it's not three columns, okay, remember, if the menu's set up to display something else, okay, the menu's set up to display something else, um, it will override the global settings. Now the home page, which is where we're at, um, has, has been set up to load one leading article, six intro articles on two columns with five links. So that's why the home page looks different to your category blog layout, it's because it's defaulting to this layout. Okay, now if you want to um, set it so it's going to be global operating, all you do is you delete 
it's not, you don't make it zero. You go, you just delete them and take all the information out of those five fields. Okay, and just click Use Global on all of the all of the uh, settings. Okay, and it will revert back to the global settings. So I click Save there. You'll see now that we have three articles going across, heading down to uh, all the articles in the feature. So it's only going to show the featured layouts because that's what the home page is, featured articles. Um, but that shows the layout and it's gone back to the global settings. Okay, and that's how that works. Alright, just quickly moving on to list layouts. Okay, I'll go to the home page and pull up my article list. Okay, and here's a list of articles that we have with all the, all the settings there. Okay, and what we'll go through is just quickly go through these. All right, we display the select. All right, the select area function is this one here, all right, with the drop down. Okay, we can show or hide that just simply by clicking on show or hide. And there it goes, it disappears. Okay, the next one off the rank is the filter field. We can have uh, title, author, or hits. At the moment, we have it set to the author filter um, just to show that we can do. The title filter will save that and it changes to a title filter. Okay, or we can make it disappear altogether just by going hide and you notice it disappears. Okay, next setting we have is the table headings. Okay, the table headings are these areas here, the title. Okay, um, we'll just put these other two areas on to show just so it shows everything. So you can see they've got the title, publish date, author and hits, alright. We can hide those just by going hide. And you see the uh, the titles disappear. Okay, moving right along. Um, we can show the date, the published date. Okay, let's just show that. And what that is, is the published date here. Now notice it's the format is 01 January 2015. We can change that formatting to... Uh, whatever you want by filling out this field here. Now if you mouse over the uh, the date format it comes up with a help screen uh, with a URL in it um, and that gives you all the formats you can use. I'll put that URL as a link um, may not be able to make a link to it but uh, I can certainly um, put the link in the description so you can copy and paste it or go to it from there. Okay and that's how you can set your formatting. You can also use the created, modified or published dates uh, from your article, it doesn't really matter which one. Okay, show hits in the list. Okay, these two here, show hits in the list and show author in the list, are basically are the author and the hits. And you can make those two disappear just by showing or hiding those columns, like so. Now it all disappears now. Okay, and that's it for those two tabs. Hope you learned something from it. Um, if you enjoyed the uh, the tutorial, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to get an update on when I publish uh, new ones. Uh, thanks for listening and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye for now.